just wanted to make a short little video of my own personal radiant charger. This is my own personal circuit and it's a uh, based off of John Bedini's circuit but I actually customized mine a little bit differently not much differently and it self resonates and it actually finds the perfect frequency in this case it's putting out 18 and a half volts 1100 Hertz and if you pour baking soda in the water it'll go down to 4 volts 500 Hertz it all depends on what you're charging so the, the circuit actually matches the charging medium and it resonates at the right frequency so it's a really cool circuit part of that I wanted to show you which I get a kick out of is how much voltage is going through this is ordinary tap water and we're actually uh, almost up to 40 volts across the plates at, uh, at peak and if you just touch this into the water it'll actually light up so you don't even have to touch the plates as you can see uh, the wires aren't even touching the plates at all and it lights up. So it's, it's kind of a cool phenomenon. If you stick your hand in there, you can get shocked pretty good. <coughs> and I have plans for this charger available. It's a very good charger. It doesn't even get warm. I had to build 70 different circuits and burn up about 30 transistors to get that particular circuit. So I would really suggest looking into it if you're looking to build one of these radiant chargers. You can build one with really simple parts, but it's not going to be this efficient. This thing is so efficient, it doesn't even get above amb ambient temperature. It runs really cold all the time. It charges any battery, and also the, the way the frequency matches. Plus it's solid state, so no, no moving parts. This doesn't require any resistors at all other than just three and they're fixed so there's no rheostats there's no adjustments you just hook it up and you can charge hydrogen you can charge batteries you can charge capacitors and it will resonate at the right frequency that it likes and right now it just happens to be at uh, 1100 Hertz but really I just wanted to show you that you can use these radiant chargers to charge anything and in this case We've just got a regular HHO cell with tap water, and I'll show you. I could stick my hand in here. It's a little bit painful, but uh, now right there you begin to feel it. And as you stick your hand all the way in, it it really starts to hurt, and uh, eventually you can't even move your fingers. So right there is ah, uh, it's pretty painful. So it feels like a heck of a lot more than 40 volts. So <clears throat> okay. Well, this is just a short clip I wanted to show you of uh, just one of the things that you can do with uh, the Radiant Charging Circuit.